Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We got a Rosignol Experience 86 Basalt women's ski for you today. Uh, this whole Experience line has been revamped for 2022. Uh, just kind of, you know, taking what they've had in the past and building off of it. Uh, this 86 Basalt is a totally new model. Uh, it does a, does a whole lot of things really well. Uh, super versatile all mountain ski uh, with kind of that front side mentality to it. So it definitely blurs that line. Uh, but the shape, you know, 86 getting up towards 90 uh, would be remiss if we didn't put it in that all mountain category for sure, uh, as it does have, a, have quite a bit of versatility built in. Uh, so we get a wood core here with basalt fibers. So basalt is a really nice material that they use. Uh, in order to stiffen and stabilize and dampen the, the ski without adding much weight. Uh, Rossi and other companies use this material in their cross-country skis, uh, so it adds really well to a lightweight wood core uh, to you know, kind of boost the performance of the ski uh, without making it too heavy. Uh, also, their drive tip solution separates this ski from the, uh, from the outgoing experience models. Um, so they have these energy absorbing fibers at the front of the ski and then this nice rubber plate here, uh, which, you know, that harnesses the vibrations and then the rubber plate basically kills them uh, so that none of it ever gets to your foot. Leads to a really smooth and confidence inspiring initiation phase of the turn. Uh, very quiet, very, very stable and damp. Uh, and you hardly realize it's going on. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the point, kind of like a radiator filtering out heat. Um, these filter out the vibrations. Uh, does a really good job, and that's kind of one of the hallmarks of these new experience skis. Uh, we also see a half cap, half sidewall construction throughout the main part of the ski. So from where my fingers are is half cap, half sidewall. That sidewall gives you great energy and edge grip, while the cap gives uh, you know lighter weight, more maneuverable, uh, quick turning nature. So full cap from here to the tips and full cap from here to the tails. That's gonna line up with the rocker profile as well. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but this kind of half cap technology uh, goes a long way in making these skis, you know, feel a lot more energetic and lightweight than a, you know, a, a full sidewall ski uh, that can be a little bit on the demanding side. So in terms of that profile, uh, we do see some nice positive camber underfoot here really does a good job at getting that energy out of the tail of the ski. So as you bend the ski, that camber activates, you know, kind of bends the ski backwards, and then you get the rebound on the tail end, uh, giving you that nice kick out of the turn. As I previously mentioned, that rocker profile starts right where that half sidewall ends, uh, which for an 86, you know, this is a pretty average rocker profile we'll see from an 86 millimeter underfoot all mountain ski. You know, moderate splay, uh, you know, that nice, gentle, uh, consistent curve, gonna do, a, uh, you know, a good job of keeping the ski on top of any type of fresh, soft, or broken snow, whether it's, you know, powder in the morning or cut up crud late in the day. Uh, this is a nice tip shape to be able to handle that. We don't get crazy with the taper here. Definitely kind of goes all the way out to the end. That's kind of a nod to the front side. It's nice when it blends with the uh, longer rocker profile, because then you get uh, the best of both worlds in terms of flotation as well as edge grip and turn initiation. In the tail, it's a little bit more business-like. You know, again, we see that rocker start right where that uh, half sidewall ends. Uh, low, pretty minimal splay. And then the tail shape here, uh, that taper is definitely a, kind of a carryover from the outgoing experience skis. Uh, again, kind of goes almost all the way to the end, a little bit of an early taper there, but uh, because it's in, involved in the rocker profile, uh, it doesn't really come into play all that much, more just for ease of exit of the turn, um, and then that edge holds on to the end, uh, giving you that long, effective edge, and the longer the edge is incorporated into the snow, uh, the more uh, smooth and stable you're going to get. Uh, this one here is the 157. Uh, we are getting a 12 meter turn radius out of this ski. So it definitely has that shorter turning capability to it, um, but also because it's not too stiff, you can let it run and open up and make longer and more GS shaped turns. Uh, but overall, you know, we're kind of looking at this ski as that solid intermediate skier uh, moving into the advanced category. 
you know, that basalt and the width add up to uh, a pretty substantial ski, but not overly demanding. So again, like they're trying to do with these mid 80s skis is to blend a lot of different things. And they do it really well with this uh, Experience 86 basalt. Uh, so check this thing out at skiessentials.com and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.